So this is the Spindletop Farm. It's part of the University of Kentucky Agricultural Experiment Station. Uh, this part of the farm is uh, generally used for agronomic science. Uh, we have animal science studies on other properties and so forth, but um, uh, this is where we do our agronomic research. This is the variety red petiole. Uh, it's one of 13 that we were provided by the KDA for evaluation here at the UK. It's uh, new and exciting and has potentially uh, uh, could make a large impact on agriculture in Kentucky and on society in general. So it's, it's very fun to be involved in something new and exciting at the same time. Um, the short term goals uh, you know, this year were just to get our foot in the door and uh, uh, kind of overcome any uh, political and uh, other barriers that uh, were present for hemp research and I think we've done that. And so uh, next year we hope to hit the ground running with uh, additional studies. I, it's, there are extension publications uh, from the 1940s and before when hemp was a legal crop in Kentucky, uh, providing farmers with advice on uh, the agronomics of hemp. Yes, they, they still exist. Uh, when hemp was last grown on this property, I could not say with accuracy. I am not sure. But I would guess it was in the 1940s. You have to remember that none of us uh, in, in my generation or maybe even one above me uh, has any personal experience with the commercial production with, of hemp. So um, uh, my information is based on reading information from Europe uh, and Canada. So I, I think we're doing just fine this year based on what I've read. We're very interested in, in land races or uh, what's commonly called, I think here, ditch weed. Uh, we're not aware of, uh, of any that's uh, available to us, but we would definitely be very, very interested in that. Um, you know, we're, we don't have plans immediately for any breeding efforts. We do have several uh, literally world-renowned plant breeders on our faculty, uh, but we have not uh, moved in that direction yet. Uh, actually, this soil is, um, is just phenomenal. Um, it, it's been in grass for many years, and so it's very, very high in organic matter. Uh, which provides a lot of nitrogen in a summer like this one where it's warm and moist uh, and the levels of the other micronutrients and macronutrients are very high in this soil. So uh, we would not conduct fertility studies here. It'd be very frustrating. So uh, we have no inputs. This is uh, planted, never irrigated, uh, never uh, applied any pesticides. We just planted it and uh, what you see behind me is the result of that. It appears that soil moisture is key, absolutely key, at planting uh, to germinate the hemp seeds quickly. Uh, once they're germinated and growing well, they can generally, it appears, outcompete many weeds. Uh, but if you don't have adequate soil moisture, there are several weed species that would germinate with less soil moisture than hemp requires and would get a head start. And we have experienced that, yes. We've had some weed issues. We have not been able to document any significant insect pest issues, nor any significant plant disease, be they viral or fungal or bacterial issues. We will harvest it at some level. Um, we, we're not quite sure what the ultimate fate of this particular plant material will be yet. Uh, that uh, we, We're working with the KDA uh, to determine what will happen with this plant material.